The Dark Tower. There now, that's the challenge. And mark this, always hold the note at the end. Yes, Sergeant Trumpeter, yes. Why need Gavin hold the note at the end? Ach, you're too young to know. It's all tradition. Well, what's tradition, Sergeant Major? Ask Mother that one. She knows. Aye, she knows. But run along, Sonny. Leave your brother to practice. No, again. Again. That's it now. But hold that last note. Hold it. Mother, what's tradition? Hand me that album. No, the black one. Not the locked one? Yes, the locked one. I have the key. Now, Roland, sit here by me on the sofa. Yes, Mother. We'll look at them backwards. Why must we look at them backwards? Because then you may recognize... Now, you know who this is? Why, that's my brother Michael. And here's my brother Henry. Michael and Henry and Dennis and Roger and John. Do you keep this album locked because they're dead? No. Not exactly. Now, can you guess who this is? It's someone I saw in a dream once. It must have been in a dream. He left this house three months before you were born. Is it? Is it my father? Yes. And this is your grandfather. And this is his father. But for the time being, you needn't look at the rest. This book goes back through seven long generations, as far as George, the founder of the family. And did they all die the same way? They did, Roland. And now I've answered your question. What question, Mother? Ah, there's Gavin, practicing. He's got it right at last. Mother, mother, uh, mother, I know the challenge. When can I leave tomorrow? Why not today, Gavin? T today? But, but I haven't yet checked my equipment. I mean, for such a long journey, I... You will travel light, my son. Well, yes, of course. Today, then. Where are you going, Gavin? Why, surely you know. I'm... Hush! I know where he's going. Across the sea, like Michael. That's right, Roland. Across the big, bad sea. Like Michael and Henry and Dennis and Roger and John. And after that, through the forest. And after that, through the desert. What's the desert made of? Well, uh, I've never been there. Some deserts are made of sand and some are made of grit, but... This one is made up of doubts and dried up hope. And what do you find at the other end of the desert? Oh, well, I... Well... Uh, you can tell him. I find the dark tower. Well, Master Roland, as this is our first day of lessons, I trust I shall find you as willing a pupil as your six brothers before you. Did you like teaching my brothers? Like it? It was an honor. It was teaching to some purpose. When's my brother Gavin coming back? What? Gavin. When's he coming back? Roland. I see I must start from the beginning. I thought your mother would have told you, but 
Maybe being the youngest. What would my mother have told me? You ask when your brother Gavin is coming back. Mm -hmm. You must get this straight from the start. Your family never come back. But surely... Now, 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 don't let me scare you. Sit down on that stool and I'll try to explain. Thank you, sir. Now, Roland, I said that to teach your brothers was an honour. Before your mother engaged me to tutor John, I was an usher in a great city. I taught two dozen lads in a class. Well, did you? The sons of careerists, salesmen, middlemen, half-men, governed by greed and caution. It was my job to teach them enough, and only enough, to fit them for making money. Means to a means. But with your family, it is a means to an end. My family don't make money. They make history. And what do you mean by an end? I mean, surely they told you? No, I don't think so. I mean, the Dark Tower. Will I ever go to the Dark Tower? Of course you will. That is why I am here. Well, that's different. It is. And that means I'll fight the dragon? Yes, but let me tell you. We call it the dragon for short. It is a nameless force hard to define. For no one who has seen it, apart from those who have seen its handiwork, has returned to give an account of it. Oh. All that we know is there is something there which makes the dark tower dark and is the source of evil through the world. It is immortal, but men must try to kill it and keep on trying so long as we would be human. What would happen if we just let it alone? Well, some of us would live longer. All of us would lead a degraded life. For the dragon would be supreme over our minds as well as our bodies. Gavin and Michael and Henry and Dennis and Roger and John might still be here. Perhaps your father too. He'd be... 75. But mark this well. They would not be themselves. You understand? I'm not quite sure. I, You're I... still small. We'll talk of the dragon later. Now come to the blackboard and we'll try some Latin. You see this sentence? Per ardua. Per ardua ad astra. What does it mean? It uh, does not go very well in a modern language. We had a word, honor, but it is obsolete. Try the word duty, and uh, there's another word, necessity. Necessity? It's a bit hard to spell. You'll have to spell it, I fear. Repeat this after me. N. N. E. E. C. C. Our God, there's the bell for Gavin. He had the greatest power to his lungs of the lot of them. And now he's another name on the roll of honor where Michael's is still new gold. Five years it is, or would it be more like six, since we toll for Michael. Bells and trumpets, trumpets and bells. I'll have to be learning the young one next. Then he'll be away too, and my lady will have no more. No more children, Sergeant Trumpeter? Oh, I beg your pardon, I didn't see you. No matter. But know this. I have one more child to bear. Well, I... No, I'm not mad. You needn't stare at me, Sergeant. This is a child of stone. A child of... Stone. To be born on my deathbed. No matter. I'm speaking in metaphor. Eh? That's all right, then. How is young Roland making out as his lessons? I don't know. Roland lacks concentration. He's not like my other sons. He's almost flippant. Oh, no. He... He's always asking questions. Oh, he's young yet. Gavin was his age once. So were Michael and Henry and Dennis and Roger and John. They never forgot what they learnt. And they asked no questions. Ah, oh, well, by the time that Roland comes to me, when he's had his fill of theory and is all set for action, in another half dozen years, when he comes to learn the trumpet call... Hush! Don't talk of it now. Let one bell toll at a time. So ends our course on ethics. Thank you, Roland. Thank you, sir.
After all these years, our syllabus is concluded. You have a brain. What remains to be tried is your will. Remember our point today. The sensitive man is the more exposed to seduction. In six years, I have come to know you. You have a warm heart. It is perhaps too warm for a man with your commission. Therefore, be careful. <coughs> Keep to your one resolve. Your single code of conduct. Listen to no one who doubts your values. And above all, Roland, never fall in love. That is not for you. If ever a hint of love should enter your heart, you must arise and go. That's it, go. Yes, Roland, my son, go quickly. Why must you go so quickly now that the sun's come out? I have my lesson to learn. You're always learning lessons. I begin to think you prefer your books to me. Oh, but Sylvie, this isn't books anymore. Not books, then... I'm learning to play the trumpet. Whatever for? <laughs> Roland, you make me laugh. <laughs> Is this another idea of your mother's? Oh, Sylvie, I not... needn't ask. What's all this leading to? I could tell you, darling, but not today. Why not? Why not today is a thing in itself, apart from the future. Whatever follows, I will remember this tree with this <coughs> dazzle of sun and shadow. And I will remember the mayflies jigging above us in the delight of the dying instant. And I'll remember you with the bronze lights in your hair. Yes, darling. But why so sad? There will be other trees and... Each tree is itself. Each moment is itself inviolable gifts of time, of God. But you cannot take them with you. Take them with you where? Kiss me, Sylvie. I'm keeping my teacher waiting. Nicely blown, nicely blown. You've graduated, my lad. Yes, I But remember, then. when I'm not here, hold the note at the end. You mean, when I'm not here? Aye, you're right. But you are my last pupil. I'll be shutting up shop. I want you to do me credit when you've crossed the sea and the desert and come to the place itself. I want you to do me credit when you unsling that horn. I hope I will. I'm sure you will. Do you know, you've caught me accent during these last lessons. <laughs> have I? You have. And if you're after catching me accent, maybe you'll also catch a touch of my spirit. <laughs> Sergeant. Eh? Do you believe in all this? All what? Do you think that there really is any dragon to fight? What are you saying? Who is it killed Gavin and Michael and Henry and Dennis and Roger and John and your father himself and his father before him and all of them back to George? I don't know, but nobody's seen this dragon. Seen him? They've seen what he's done. Have you never talked to blind Peter? No, I as a matter of fact... not. Cooped up here in the castle, inside this big black ring of smothering yew trees, you've never mixed with the folk. Well, I suppose But before I... you leave, if you want a reason for leaving, I recommend that you pay a call on Peter, and his house is low. Mind your head as you enter. That's right, sir. Mind your head as you enter. Now take that chair. It's the only one with springs. I saved it from me heyday. Well, now, sir, it's kind of you to visit me. Not at all. I, I can to tell me. by your voice alone that you're your father's son. Your handshake's not so strong, though. I was my father very... He had a grip of iron. And what's more, sir, he had a will of iron. And what's still more again, he had a conscience. Which is something we all need. I should know. Why? Why what? Why do you sound so sad when you talk about having a conscience? Because his conscience is something a man can lose. It's cold in here. I'll make a long story short. Fifty years ago when I had Miss Sight... But the dragon was loose at the time. Hmm? I had a job and a wife and a newborn child. And I believed in God. Until one day, I told you the dragon was loose at the time. No one had challenged him lately. So he came out from his den. 
what some people call the tower. Oh. And creeping around, he got to our part of the world. Nobody saw him, of course. There was just like a kind of bad smell in the air, and everything went sour. People's mouths and eyes changed their look overnight, and the government changed too. And as for me, I woke up feeling different. And when I looked in the mirror that first morning, the mirror said informer. Informer? Yes, sir, in my new role. They passed a pack of laws forbidding this and that, and anyone breaking them, the penalty was death. I grew quite rich sending men to that death. Huh? The last I sent was my wife's father. But you... But did you believe in these laws? Believe? <laughs> did I believe in anything? God had gone round the corner. I was acquiring riches. But to make a long story short, when they hanged my wife's father, my wife took poison. So I was left with a child. Then the child took ill. Scared me stiff. So I sent for all the doctors I could afford them then. But they couldn't discover anything wrong in its body. It was more as if its soul was set on quitting. And indeed, why not? To be a human being, people agree, is difficult. Then the child quit. Yes, she quit, but slowly. I watched it happen. That's why now I'm blind. Why, you don't mean that you yourself... When you've seen certain things, you don't want to see no more. Tell me, sir, the people's faces nowadays as ugly as they were? You know what I mean, evil? No, not most of them. Some, I suppose. Those ones belong to the dragon. Why put the blame of everything on the dragon? Men have free choice, haven't they? Free choice of good or evil? That's just it. And the evil choice is the dragon. But I needn't explain it to you, sir. You've made up your mind. You're like your father. One of the dedicated whose life is a quest, whose death is a victory. Yes, God bless you. You've made up your mind. But have I, Peter? Have I? Really made up your mind? I go away today. That's no answer. You go away because they tell you to. Because your mother's brought you up on nothing but out-of-date beliefs and mock heroics. It's easy enough for her. Easy for her? Who's given her flesh and blood? And I'm the seventh son. I've heard all that. They call it sacrifice. But each new death is, is a stone and a necklace to her. Your mother, Roland, is mad. The world is mad. Not all of it, my love. Those who have power are mad enough, but there are people, Roland, who keep themselves to themselves, or rather to each other, living a sane and gentle life in a forest nook or a hill pocket, perpetuating their kind and their kindness, keeping their hands clean and their eyes keen, at one with themselves, each other, and nature. I had thought that you and I, perhaps... There is no perhaps in my tradition, Sylvie. You mean in your families? Isn't it time you saw that you were different? You're no knight-errant, Roland. No, I'm not. But there is a word, necessity. Necessity? You mean your mother's orders? Not quite. But apart from that, I saw a man today. They call him Blind Peter. Leave the blind to mislead the blind. That Peter is where he is because of his own weakness. You can't help him, Roland. Maybe not. But maybe I can do something prevent a recurrence of blind Peters. Imagination. Imagination. That things can be bettered, that action can be worthwhile, that there are ends which, even if not reached, are worth approaching. Imagination. Yes, I wish I had it. I have a little. You should support that little and not support my doubts. Listen, there is the drum. They are waiting for me, the gate. Sylvia... Kiss me at least. I shall never... See me again? You will, Roland. You will. I know you. You will set out, but you won't go on. Your common sense will triumph. You'll come back. And your love for me will triumph. And in the end... This is the end. Bye. 
to you, Roland, my last message. For seven years I have been your tutor. You have worked hard on the whole, but whether really you have grasped the point of it all remains to be seen. A man lives on a sliding staircase. Sliding downwards, remember, to be a man he has to climb against it. Keeping level, or even ascending slightly, he will not reach the top, if there is a top, and when he dies, he will slump and go down regardless. All the same, while he lives, he must climb. Remember that. And I thank you for your attention. Goodbye, Roland. To you, Roland, my last message. You are off now on the quest like our brothers before you to take a slap at the evil that never dies. Well, here's this trumpet. Sling it round your waist and keep it bright and clean till the time comes when you have to sound the challenge. The first and the last time. And I trust you will do your old instructor credit and put the fear of God or of man into that dragon. That's all now. God bless you. But remember... Hold that note at the end. To you, Roland, my last message. Here is a ring with a blood-red stone. So long as this stone retains its color, it means that I retain my purpose in sending you on the quest. I put it now on your finger. Mother, it burns. That is the heat in the stone. So long as the stone is red, the ring will burn. And that small circle of fire around your little finger will be also the circle of my will around your mind. I gave a ring like this to your father, Roland, and to John, and Roger, and Dennis, and Henry, and Michael, and to Gavin, the last before you. My will was around and behind them. Should ever you doubt or waver, look at this ring and feel it burn, and go on. Mother, before I go, I must... No more words. Go. Turn your face to the sea. Open the gates there. The march of departure, Sergeant. Let my son go out, my last, and make the music gay! Forgive me stopping you, sir. Huh? Forgive you? Certainly not. I'm sorry. I, I... <laughs> I'm on my way to the tavern. Well, I'm on my way to the keys. Is it this turning or next? Any turning you like. Look down these thinking streets. There's sea at the end of each of them. Yes, young man. But, 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 but what's at the end of the sea? Never believe what they said when you booked your passage. But I haven't booked it yet. Not booked your passage no. yet? Why, then? There's no need to hurry. You come with me to the tavern. It's only a step. I cannot spare a step. All right. All right. If you won't come to the tavern, the tavern must come to you. Oh, there. Music. the idea. Music does wonders, young man. Music can build a palace, let alone a pub. Come on, you masons of the muses. Swing it. Bring me up. Oh, oh. Now, 
Now, now, don't drop your tempo easy with those hot... All right. For our wall. Now, benches, tables, no, no doors or windows. Who are drunk once daylight? But you've left out the bar. Come on, cellos, percussions, all of you. A bar! That's right. Yes, yes. Barmaid? Yes, sir. Give us whatever you have and <coughs> make it triple. Oh, just a small one for me, please. Oh, don't be so objective. One would think, looking at your long face, that there's a war on. But I... There I'm is just... no war on, and you have no face. Mm -hmm. Drink up. Don't be objective. What in the name of heaven? Look, dearie, it... don't mind him. He always talks like that. You take my tip. You're new here, and this town is a seaport. The tone is rather... You go somewhere inland. But how can I? I have to go to sea. The sea out there leads nowhere. Come, sweetheart, same again. Nowhere, I've warned you. That's for our friend here. Mm -hmm. Don't stay too long in his company. What's that? Don't stay too long in my what? Company was the word. Company? I have none. Why, how could I? There's never anyone around where I am. I exist for myself, and all the rest is projection. Come on, projection. Drink. Dance on your strings and drink. Oblige him, dearie. Oblige him. There, my projection drinks. I wrote this fast before I was born, you know, this. Puppet play in my mother's womb, dear boy. I have never abdicated the life of the womb. Watch, Mabel. My new puppet drinks again. A pretty boy, but I've given him no more lines, have I, young man? Hmm? You see, he cannot speak. All he can do henceforward is to drink. Look, a pull on the wire, the elbow lifts. Give him the same again. Well, uh, well... There is no well about it, except that well that has no bottom and that fills the world. Triplets, I said. Where are those damned musicians? Back up, you puppets. Play! Serenade me now till I fall asleep, and all the notes are one, and all the sounds are silence. Unity, maybe. Unity is my motto. The end of drink is a whole without any parts. A great black sponge of night that fills the world, and when you squeeze it, maybe, it drips in. Want me to squeeze it? Right. Piano there, piano. I'm asleep. Didn't you hear me? Piano puppets, all right. Pianissimo. Nissimo. Nissimo. Puppet, a projection, how he lies. And yet, I've sometimes thought the same, you know. The same, but the other way round. There is no evidence for anything except my own existence. He says his, but he's wrong anyway. Look at him snoring there. If I were something existing in his mind, how could I go on now that he's asleep? <laughs> because... I'm dreaming you. Dreaming? Yes, sir. He does have curious dreams. Yes. 
And the curious thing about my dreams is that they always have an unhappy ending for all except the dreamer. Thus, at the moment, you never guess, young man, what role I've cast you for. What the devil... Never devil-y... mind, dear. Tomorrow he'll wake up. Tomorrow he'll wake up. And I... Shall I wake up? Perhaps to find that this whole quest is a dream. Perhaps I'm still at home in my bed by the window, looking across the valley between the yew trees, to where Sylvie lives not among yews, but apples. All aboard! What's that? All aboard! You'd never guess. What happens in my dream? All aboard. All aboard. Come along there, young man, unless you want to be left. All aboard for the further side of the sea. For the dead end of the world and the born of no return. All aboard, ladies and gents, knaves and fools, babes and sucklings, Philistines, Pharisees, parasites, pimps, nymphos and dipsos, all aboard, lost souls and broken bodies. Make it snappy. That's right, folks. Find your feet on the gangway. Take it. Thank you. Take it. Thank you. Ticket. Thank you. Ticket. Thank you. Oh, this way, sir. Let me show you your stateroom. Hot and cold and a blue light over the bed. Yes, very nice. Ring once for a drink, twice for an aspirin. Now, if you want anything else, sir, uh, a manicure, for example? No, Stuart. A sleeping draught. Uh, sir, in the morning? Morning be damned. My head aches. Oh, 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 drinking last night, sir. Thinking. Thinking. Oh, that's too bad, sir. Oh, but you'll soon get over that, sir. In this ship, nobody thinks, sir. Why should they? They're at sea, sir. So their brains must be at sea, sir. And if your brain's at sea, sir... Listen, I want a sleeping draught. How many times do I have to ring for that? Oh, as many times as you like, sir. If you can keep awake, sir. Oh, but talking of sleeping draughts, sir... Do you hear that lady playing the fiddle? Fiddle? No, I don't. Oh... That's because she plays it in her head. Eh? But she's a very nice lady, sir. Her name, sir, is Niara. Why should I care what her name is? I tell you, Stuart, that I... Of course, if you'd rather play tombola. Tombola? Game of chance, sir. They call out numbers. Kills the time, oh, sir. Rather like life, sir. You can buy your tickets now in the lounge. Oh, the ship started, you know, sir. Oh, so the ship's started. But I can't hear the engines. Can't you, sir? Mm, I was right, then. Right? What do you mean? I thought so the moment I saw you. (laughs) You don't, sir. Of course you don't. Don't what, damn you? Don't what? You don't know where you're going, sir. Valentino, Valentando, Adagio. Would you, you startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I Do couldn't... sit down. So you're going nowhere too? On the contrary, madam. Call me Niara. But I... And I'll call you Roland. Huh? How do you know my name? A little bird told me. A swan, if you want to know. He sang your name and he died. That's right, sit down. I've seen your dossier too. Seen my... Yes, chérie, in the captain's cabin. But how can I have a dossier? I've done nothing. That's just it. It's dull. But the future part amused me. Oh, yes, my dear, this dossier includes the future. And you don't come out of it well. Uh, what do you mean? You never believed in this quest of yours, you see. The dark tower, the dragon, all this blag. 
That's why you were so easy to seduce in the idle days at sea. The days that are just beginning. Key of the door, 21. 21. 11th hour, 11. 10th commandment, uh, 9. <laughs> Kill his eye, number 1. And we shake the bag. Lento. Accelerando! Presto! Calando! Morendo! Well, sir, so the lady's still practicing. Golden day, sir, golden days. At sea, sir, have you noticed one doesn't notice time? You probably feel you just came on board yesterday. And yet you got your sea legs weeks ago, sir. Sea legs? Why, this trip has been so calm, I've never felt... That's any... right, sir. Never feel. There's nothing in life but profit and pleasure. Allegro, I say. No, some people plump for pleasure. But I now fancy the profit. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Hmm... The sea today in the sunset looks looks like what shall I say, sir? The sea today, a dance of golden sovereigns. The sea today is a dodge of doves. The sea today is gulls and dolphins. The sea today is knots and crosses. <laughs> and we shake the bed. <laughs> the sea today won't is crystal. The sea today in the Ara is time. The sea today is drums and fives. The sea today is broken bottles. The sea today is snakes and ladders. Especially <laughs> snakes. Especially <laughs> snakes. Roland, <laughs> what's that ring? I've never seen one like it. There is no other ring like it. A strange ring for a man. Yes, perhaps. My color, you know, that red. Why do you twitch your finger? Because it burns. It burns. Like tingling ears, perhaps. Someone is thinking of you? What? I hope not. Come, darling, let's have a drink. And we <laughs> shake the bed. <laughs> the sea today is drunken marble. The sea today is silver stallion. The sea today is... Tell me, steward. Sir. Where's all this floating seaweed come from? I imagine, sir, oh, forgive me mentioning it, that we are approaching land. Land? Yes, sir. But you won't be landing, of course. The best people never dance. No, I suppose not. Più sonor. Con forza. Accelerando, crescendo. Any more for the shore? Any more for the shore? Line up there on the forward deck, all what wants to charge their neck. Any more for the shore? This way, thank you. This way, thank you. This way, thank you. This way, thank you. Any more? Hurry up, please. But remember this. Once you're off, you can't come back, not ever on board. We leave at once, at once. Once. This way, thank you. This way, thank you. This way, thank you. This way, thank you. Here, here, who are you shoving? What's the blinking at it? That's right. Some people seem very keen to land in the future. <laughs> Can't use their eyes if you ask me. That's right. Look at them vicious rocks. And that tumble down shack that thinks it's a customs house. And them honourable mountains behind it. You'd think this country was uninhabited. This way, thank you. This way, thank you. This way, thank you. Okay, sir. That's the lot. Gangway, hop! Gangway, hop!
Clear away there. Mind your heads. What are you staring at, Roland? Come away, Cherie. The show's over. There goes Gangway. We're moving out now. But how are you staying at, darling? Was that... Was that... I couldn't see in the face of the sun, but... Steward? Yes, sir. You sharp eyes. Yes, sir. Did you see over there on the quay sitting on a rusty bollard? Shush. The honor will hear you. <laughs> yes, sir. A <laughs> very nice face. And she was looking at you, sir, too. Staring, in fact, one might say. Yes, seems to be staring still. Can it be? Mm, but what's she Can doing now? Be? She's climbing up on the bollard. Good Lord, sir, that's bad form. She's making gestures. Roland! Roland! Sylvia! I knew it. Out of my way there. Here, here, here. Stop him. Man gone mad there. Don't let him jump. Roland, come back. Man overboard. Man overboard. Barbie. Boy, where's the life boy? Oh, this here ship don't carry no life boys, nor he won't need one. Look. He's climbing up on the quay. Yes, madam. Can drop the madam now. Yes, Niara. My sweetie pie. That's more like it, James. My great big he man. Come to my cabin now. We'll count the takings. She goes now. There she goes now. Roland, you are a hypocrite. No, Sylvie. Merely a sleepwalker. Oh. Sea must have been cold. Come, let's walk. How did you get here, Sylvie? I followed you, but not on a luxury liner. Mine was a cargo boat. Its limit was seven knots. And yet you got here first. And now, I suppose you regret it. Are you going to leave me, Sylvie? How can I? We're marooned here. This is a desolate land. I suggest we keep together. You have the gift of forgiveness. I have the gift of common sense. As you're bound to be seduced for your so-called quest, in future, Roland, leave the seducing to me. Or can't I, perhaps, compete with your ladies of pleasure? Pleasure? That was not pleasure. It was. But it was not happiness. And you... Offer me happiness. You doubt that I have it to offer? No, I don't doubt that. But my tutor always said happiness cannot be taken as a present. Forget your tutor. This is a foreign land where no one can interfere with us. No one. No man, perhaps. What do you mean by that? Look around you, Sylvie. See the deserted port, the ruined shacks, the slag heaps covered with lichen, and behind it all, the frown and fear of the forest. This is the dragon's territory. Roland, how childish you are. You think so? Look at this notice that flaps here on the hoarding. And this one. And this one. And this one. Wanted for murder. Wanted for murder. Wanted... You're reading the words wrong. Not for, Sylvie. To. Wanted to murder. Yes. You're right, but what does it mean? It means... We're on a soil where murder pays. It pays in many places. Yes, but here the paymaster is the government. And payday is every day of the week. The dragon's doing, I tell well, you. Well, if it is, you can't cure it. At best, you can cure yourself. And that only through love. Love? Through me, Roland. Through me. Yes. I think you're right. Sylvie, take this ring. I can't wear it now. I've failed this ring, but this ring will not fail you. You... you mean... Yes. Let me put it on your finger. Not yet. Roland, that must be done in a church. Where can we find a church around here? What a strange color, like the blood of a child. I repeat, where can we find a church or a chapel here? Scorza, 
Lady and gentleman won't guide the chapel. Oh, God. Where did this come from? Me? Oh, me come from Sua. Me accredited guide. Very good and very funny. Lady and gentlemen, see chapel today. Where is this chapel of yours? Oh, chapel not mine. Chapel belongs to God. Me take you there up this road, see? Me tell you history, very much history. Cheap. That chapel bell. <laughs> ting a ling a ling for the wedding. What wedding? Oh, me not know. No, sir, nobody know. Happy pair not come yet. Roland, this is a sign. Tell him to show us the way. Oh, me show you the way, sure. Beautiful lady, put best feet first. Hmm? Chapel up there in forest. In the forest? Sure, boss. Chapel old. Chapel in forest before forest grow. Mm, but needs repairs now bad. Mm, haunted too. Haunted? <laughs> oh, sure, boss. <laughs> Plenty ghosts. Twee, twee. Me need bonus for them ghosts. You'll have your bonus. Only get us there, Gracias, quick. Yes, 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 yes. We will exercise these ghosts. You know how, my dearest. I know how. Before I complete this ceremony, making you man and wife, I must deliver a warning. The original sin is doubt, and in these days of contempt for the individual, it is also the topical sin. So if either of you has doubts of the holiness of marriage, or if either of you has doubts of the other, and can conceive a time when he or she will think again and wish this thing undone, now is your time to speak. Good, so you have no doubts. There is one other formality. Although there is no congregation present, although apart from ourselves and a few sparrows and field mice this chapel is now empty, I must still put the question. If anyone here know just cause or impediment... To... I do. I do. I do. This young man who's come to you to get married promised me when he left a week before I died as he would avenge my blindness and bring it about no one should go the way I went in future. Well, has he done it? No, and he'll never do it. Not if you splice him up to that poor, simple girl who only dreams how he and she will be happy. No, Roland, my brother. Blind Peter is right. Forget your dreams of a home. You can never be happy if you forsake the quest. And if you could, happiness is not all. You must go on. Turn your back on this chapel. Go on through the forest. Alone, always alone. And then across the desert, and at the other end of that desert... You will find what I found, Roland. You? You should know my voice, though you never heard it. Though you had not seen me, you knew my portrait. My father. I am still waiting to be your father. 
While you malinger, you are no son of mine. Well? Sylvie. I know what you want. Your ring. There. Back on your finger. Look how it glows in this darkness. Glows? It will burn me up. Roland, before we part... This chapel is now closed. I'm sorry. Goodbye, my daughter. Your way lies back, back by the road you came. Over the hopeless sea. Back to your little house and your apple orchard. And there must you marry one of your own kind. And spray the trees in spring and raise the ladders in autumn, and spread the shining crop on the spare room floor, and... Sylvie, before we part... This chapel is now closed. I'm sorry. Goodbye, my son. Your way lies forward, forward, through the gibbering guile of the forest, forward through the silent doubt of the desert. And here, let me warn you, if in the forest you hear any voices call from the trees, pay no attention, Roland. Pay no attention. <laughs> forest was bad enough, but this beats all. When my tutor described it to me, it sounded strange. But now I'm here with the grit of it filling my shoes. I find that the worst thing about it is this. The desert is something familiar. And with no end. No end. Tick tock, tick tock. Sand and grit, bones and waste, a million hours, all the same, a million minutes, each an hour, and nothing stops, for nothing starts, but the hands move, the dead hands move, the desert is the only clock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Flat, tick -tock. no shape, no color. Only here and there, a mirage of the past. Something I've met before. Figures arising from dust, repeating themselves, telling me things I have no wish to remember. Mirages. 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 
A pretty boy, but I've given him no more lines. He'd never guess what happens in my dream. Look, a pull on the wire, his feet move forward. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Golden day, sir. Golden days. In the desert, sir, have you noticed one doesn't notice time? Right. Ah, but I thought so the moment I saw you. Right. You don't know where you're going. Right. Golden days. Golden days. Golden days. Adagio. Golden days. Valentano. This dossier includes your future. You don't come out of it well. But kiss me, Rowling. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Yes. But why must you go so quickly now that the sun's come out? You, Roland, you're no knight errant. Your love for me will triumph. You'll come back. Then you and I. 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 No! of dust and fancy, unreal voices. But where is the voice that launched me on my road? Where is the shape, the first that I remember? Why doesn't she appear, even in fancy? It is the least she could... Mother, where are you? Yes, you. I'm calling you. My mother who sent me forth. It was all your doing. But for you, I who had no beliefs of my own, I who had no will of my own, should not be here today pursuing a dark tower that is only dark because it doesn't exist. And mother, it is only your will that drives me still, as signified in the blood red stone I wear on my finger under my glove that burns me like a living wheel. Uh, burns me? Burns me? It always has. Have I gone none? I can feel nothing. Off with this glove. I can't believe that. The ring. The ring. The color is gone. The blood has gone out of it. But that must mean. That means. It means. My son. But I want you back. And the quest then? Lapses. On my deathbed, I have changed my mind. I am bearing now a child of stone. He can go on the quest. But you, Roland. The ring is always right. Recall, reprieve, a thousand years of sunshine, and the apples will be in bloom round Sylvie's house. Was that my mother's voice? Look at the ring. It is pale as death. There is no more breach of duty. Her will is not behind me. Breach of duty. If she is dying, there is the breach of duty, not to be there. Mother, you sent me out, and I went out. Now that you call me back, I will come back. The desert take this ring. It serves no further purpose. What was that? It must have struck something hard. That's the first sound I've heard in the desert. Where did I throw that ring? A stone, but a carved stone looks like a milestone. As if the desert had any use for milestones. How many miles to Babylon? Let's see now. These letters are choked with sand. To those 
To those? To those who did not go back, whose bones being nowhere, their signature is for all men who went to their death of their own free will, bequeathing free will to others. Pretty Polly, a tall story. Caw, caw, and not so new. Pretty Polly, a no warrior. Caw, caw, nobody cares. Who went to their death, Pretty Polly. Of their own free will, caw, caw. Of their own free will. It wasn't like that with me. It was my mother pushed me to this point, and now she pulls me back. Let's see this ring. Where's it fallen? Uh, yes, there's no mistake. Red no longer. My mother wants me back, and indeed it's high time. This desert has no end nor even any contour. The blank horizon retreats and yet retreats without either rise or fall, repeats, retreats, defeats. There is no sign of a tower. You could see a tower for miles. There's not even a knoll. Flatness is all and nothing. Own free will. As if I, Roland, had ever Tutors, trumpeters, women, old soaks and crooked stewards, everyone I've met has played his music on me. Own free will, three words, not one of which I understand. All right, mother dear, I'm coming. <laughs> footsteps. Better follow them back. Back to the forest and through it and so to the shore of the sea. Are these my footsteps? But how small they look. Well, you're a small man, Roland. Better admit it. You'll be still smaller now. But are these my footsteps? They're so near together. And I thought I was walking with great strides. Oh, Roland, Roland. You thought yourself a hero. And you walked with little steps like that. Now you must watch these niggling footprints all your return journey to underline your shame. What shame to me, who never had free will. Their own free will, bequeathing free will to others. Others, indeed. I begin to think my drunken friend was right in a subjective tavern. There are no others, apart from the projections of my mind. And once that mind is empty, man's a desert. Others? Who are these others? Where can I find them? Nowhere, Roland. Nowhere. There. What did I say? There are no others. You will never find us if you go forward. For you will be dead before we are born. You will never find us if you go back. For you will have killed us in the womb. Oh, <laughs> so I'm an infanticide now. Not yet. But if you go back... Who said I was going back? I thought you had made up your mind. I never make up my mind. Didn't I say that my mother... Look, I leave it to chance. Chance is as good an arbiter as any. Watch me, you unborn children. See this tiny cactus? I will strip it leaf by leaf. Let that decide. This year, next year, Ina Mina, you know the game, you unborn children. Now, forward, back, forward, 
Back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. There, the voice of chance, the oracle of the cactus. Back, back, that's what the cactus says. But I'm going forward, children. Did you think that I'd let a cactus dictate to me? Uh, Mother, don't pull on the string. You must die alone. Forgive me, dear, but I tell you I'm going forward. Forward, Roland, into the empty desert where all is flat and colorless and silent. Silent? And what's this? Something new. A sound. But a sound of what? Don't say that, but it's my heart. Why, Roland, you poor fool. Who would think you had one? You must be afraid. It is fear reveals the heart. <laughs> You piece of clockwork, trying to have your little say while you can, before your wheels run down here in the empty desert. Empty? Where have these mountains come from? Closing round in a ring. Humpbacked horrors that want to be in at the death. And where's the horizon? A moment ago, this was level. What's the game? A confidence trick, a trap. I'm cooped in. A circle of ugly cliffs. A lobster pot of rock. Silence, my stupid heart. This looks like... Looks like what? This looks like the great circus in ancient Rome. Only there's no audience. And no lion. No audience. No audience? Why, that's Gavin on top of that peak. And Michael and Dennis and Henry and Roger and John. Men that I've never seen. In outlandish clothes. Some of them even in armor. And there's blind Peter. With sight in his eyes, for he's pointing. And my father, too. I remember him from the album. And my tutor, he must be dead, looking graver than ever. And, well to the front, of course, my dear old Sergeant Trumpeter. Roland, hold the note at the end. Be ready, old boy. This is it. Strike a good blow to avenge blind Peter. Your heritage, my son. You were born to fight. Fight? Fight whom? This circus has no lion. No lions, Roland. Have you forgotten your lessons? I never mentioned lions. It was a dragon, and only that for lack of a better name. Yes, yes. It's dragon, of course, but you told me, my good tutor, the dragon would not appear until I came to the tower. And until I had blown my blast, well, there is no tower. That fools me, Roland, my brother. Look over there, Roland, my son. Where? That little thing. Like a wart coming out of the ground. It's growing, Roland. It's growing. You should recognize it from my lectures. That's the joker, all right. It's growing, my son. Waste no time. It's growing. Yes, it's growing. Oh, look at it. Strike a good blow for our mother's born children. And strike a blow for all dead mothers. Don't do it, Robert. Waste no time. 
Remember that challenge call? Blow it the way I taught you. Yes, dear friends, I will blow it the way you taught me. I, Roland, the black sheep, the unbeliever, who never did anything of his own free will, will do this now to bequeath free will to others. Ahoy there, tower, dark tower. You're getting big. Your shadow is cold upon me. What of that? And you, you dragon or whatever you are who make men beasts, come out. Here is a man. Come out and do your worst. Rest. Be steady as I raise the trumpet so. Now, fill my lungs. The Dark Tower was written and produced by Louis McNeese. The music was specially composed by Benjamin Britten and the orchestra was conducted by Walter Gurr. The part of Roland was played by Cyril Cusack. Other parts as follows. The mother, Olga Lindo, and the tutor, Mark Dignam, both by permission of the Arts Theatre group of actors. Sylvie, Lucy Lyle, the sergeant trumpeter, Harry Hutchinson, Gavin, Frank Partington, Blind Peter, Ivor Barnard, The Soak, Robert Farkison, The Stentor, Laidman Brown, The Steward, Howard Marion Crawford, Niaira, Vera Maxime, The Priest, Alexander Sana. Other parts were played by Malcolm Thomas and members of the BBC Repertory Company.